The defense headquarters says a total of 47,975 terrorists and their families have so far surrendered to troops of Operation Harding Kai in the Northeast from September 2021 to date. The Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Bernard Onyoko, gave the disclosure while keeping journalists abreast on military operations between March 10 and March 24. Giving accounts of the various operations, Major General Bernard Onyoko says the troops of Operation Harding Kai within the last two weeks sustained aggressive posture by conducting clearance operations in the fight against Boko Haram terrorists, ISWAP terrorists, and other criminal elements in the theater of operations. Our correspondent, Michael Semeko, reports that Major General Onyuko further reels out the successes recorded by the Nigerian Navy in conjunction with U.S. AFRICOM within the period under review. According to Onyuko, troops of Operation Delta Safe conducted operations against oil thieves and other economic saboteurs in different communities. Excise Obangami Express. This is an exercise that was carried out by the Nigerian Navy in conjunction with the U.S. Africa Command. So the 12th edition was conducted between the 11th and 18th of March. The aim of this exercise was designed to create an enabling environment and freedom of navigation in the Gulf of Guinea. Also, it created regional collaboration through joint efforts to checkmate illegal economic activities within the same area. During this exercise, home patrol vessels intercepted fishing vessels carrying out illegal fishing activities on our coastal waters. The vessels are FV Magnolta and FV Jasmine. Also, MT Queen of Peace was intercepted, laden with 1,257 cubic meters of stolen crude oil, with 14 crew members on board. While MT Harbor Spirit was also intercepted, for suspected illegal activities with forged documents. Cumulatively, a total of 16 vessels, 21 crew members were interrogated, and some were arrested within the exercise period. The overall assessment of the exercise was adjusted successful, and it lived up to its bidding. Now a look at Operation Delta Safe. Troops of Operation Delta Safe in the last two weeks intensified raids against oil thieves and economic saboteurs in different communities, villages, and creeks, such as Ajomo Creeks, Kokota in Wariluku government area, Obiayaga, Uruwaram in Ugeli South Luku government area, Akajeti, Bakana Creek, Afraimo Obotobu, Sayara Creek in Wari South Luku government area. The military high command, however, commends troops in all theater of operations for the modest feats recorded while enjoining troops to remain professional, vigilant, and exhibit utmost caution and respect for human rights in their respective area of responsibilities. Senate 